If you just look at the education program, there's probably nine and a half million who have been graduated from BRAC schools, four and a half million from our pre-primary schools, and another five and a half from our primary schools. And these schools are uh, sort of picture little house on the prairie, a one-room schoolhouse in a rented, often thatched, uh, small hut. But uh, with a teacher from the local area, always a, a female teacher. And the one-year pre-primary um, curriculum is designed to um, flip the switch on the joy of learning. So 100% of those children enroll successfully in government primary school. And the quality of government schools has been critiqued over the years, sometimes good, sometimes not so good. But those highly motivated BRAC students will stay and complete their primary school in government school even if the quality is not good and they test better than kids who didn't have that head start. Now if you look at the BRAC primary schools these are second chance schools. This is only to complement the government effort because there are about 19 million school going children in Bangladesh uh, primary school and maybe 15 million are in government school. So BRAC's program was designed to catch the students who were out of school because they were never enrolled or they dropped out. And this is because of poverty and because of gender discrimination. So those students, um, through a, a compression, an accelerated learning opportunity, will go to school four years and complete all five years. They successfully graduate and transition into government secondary school and we have um, much better results, um, again, on their test scores compared to, to government primary school. So we've figured out a very effective pathway to get poor children and poor girl children, 70% usually uh, we bias to girls, into school. Now, secondary school, to keep them in school, we've done different things to try to work and support the government's programs. We've built um, special um, you know, facilities like uh, toilets. Sanitation is a key barrier why girls will drop out um, when they become adolescents. Um, we've helped to improve the, the, the quality of teacher training. We've also provided scholarships. And it's extremely important, you know, that free school that a poor child can go to in primary school for $32 a year, only $32. When he or she graduates and gets into secondary school, a poor child will often have pressure on them to drop out. So for us to be able to provide a small scholarship for these uh, poor but very academically talented children, it's been a lifeline to keep them in school. And now we've been able to actually award scholarships for many of them to go to university. Both Brack University, which we started um, now 11 years ago, as well as universities in China, in India, because of the, the philanthropy of, of generous individuals in, in those countries.